Good morning and welcome to your Tuesday. I guess it's January 25th all of a sudden. So let's see, what do I, I want to give you guys a, a bit of a weather report. Um, I've got a great app that tells me about the current aspects of the sky. And so let's just talk about some of that so that you yourself can see how the energy of the planets um, shows through the cards. It's very interesting, it fascinates me to no end, and uh, I believe that this is why I'm so intrigued by all this. So here we go, some strong aspects. The sun is square moon, as in the angle of the sun and the moon is in a square, it's sort of like a 90 degree <clears throat> aspect, uh, which is a strong conflict. There's a strong opposition I'll read you what this means. The sun square moon, we have a quarter moon which occurs about twice every month. This is a powerful time when seeds of intention that were planted earlier begin to see the light of day or else perish. So by now you might be seeing results or you might not be seeing results. And that is, um, it is a time of judgment really. It, it increases our wisdom and understanding of present circumstances. The relative success of current ventures is judged and found either acceptable or wanting. Okay, think about how this could apply to your life. Uh, the next aspect we have moon is in strong trine with Jupiter. Trine is, um, what is, <clears throat> I don't actually remember the angle. Anyway, it's a triangle. Um, the moon symbolizes instinctive awareness and Jupiter is the planet of expansion. With the moon trine or sextile Jupiter, there's a cooperation between emotions and abundance. Feelings of joy and happiness are magnified and there is a greater urge to indulge in all things that inflate comfort and security interesting cooperation between emotions and abundance our emotions clue us into those feelings of abundance so that's that's helpful I mean that makes sense Venus is in strong trine with Uranus U I say Uranus Venus is the planet of love beauty and money and Uranus is the planet of revolution with Venus trine or sextile Uranus and it's in trine right now Everyone feels excitement affecting their love nature and social expression. Sudden magnetic attraction becomes the norm. Sticking to a routine is less enjoyable than flitting around since the urge for liberation is strong. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to read you two more. The sun is conjunction with mercury. Uh, conjunction is the strongest. It's like when the energies blend. They're, they're working together almost in unison. The sun is the planet of vit planet planet of vitality. Mercury is the planet of communication. With the sun conjunct Mercury, there is a light shining on all mental processes. This is a good time to promote ideas or to schedule a vital meeting or conversation. Negotiation and contracts are favored. The written word also benefits. And what was the last one I was going to read you? Uh, Mars has entered Capricorn, the part of the sky known as Capricorn. And here's what that means. Mars is the planet of action, energy, and motivation, and spends about seven to eight weeks in each sign unless retrograde. With Mars in Capricorn, for you and for everyone else, energy is directed toward the expression of ambition and in achieving goals. You have an ability to work tirelessly to improve your reputation, reputation so that great career progress can be realized. There could also be conflict with authority figures since everyone wants to be in charge. Mars in Capricorn. comes at the perfect time right now when also um, what is that the sun, the sun is also square the moon when we're starting to realize where exactly we are in in the progress or process of our goals something is being realized and or we are now wanting uh, for more so that has been the weather report <laughs> Um, for today, you know, some of these energies, the moon moves pretty rapidly, you know, every day. The other planets, you know, they take a while. Mars, it said Mar Mars takes like six to eight weeks. So, um, and Venus has been retrograde, you know, for the last six weeks, and it will be stationing direct this Saturday. So if you don't feel it yet, things are definitely going to start unblocking. Things are definitely going to be moving. So I would say for the next week still, it's a good time to keep your head down. Focus on yourself. Focus on feeling grounded. Focus on um, keeping yourself balanced. 
um, so that when things start showing up for you, you don't uh, you don't lose your head, you know, or or if things change externally outside of your control, you can sort of keep keep on your plan. That's definitely the energy of Mars and Capricorn is like stick to the plan. Full Moon Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. Sun is really hot today, so I had to do that. Again, the gibbous moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Who is this gibbous moon for? This is speaking to somebody who is so close to something and just needing to take actually some space from it to look at the bigger picture. New moon Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. So Taurus is the energy of um, sort of stable flow of working towards your goals. This is about possibly realizing some sort of dream that you might have. Like there's, if there's an energy here of setting a new intention, a new course, a new way of doing things, or maybe it's not even a new way of doing things, just the new intention to set a course. Look at the bigger picture is a very expansive energy. There's that Jupiter energy, right? And also it's a full moon card. So this is, this is sort of giving me the, the energy of the um, uh, Venus trying Jupiter, right? For a moment, let's look at the new moon Taurus. I don't get that card a lot. I just like to know a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Give or get or give a massage. Healthy body, healthy mind. You will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. Nice. Get clear on what you value most. This will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself. Start a standing order to a savings account, a savings account no matter how small. The new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Actually, I'm going to read you this whole thing. It's very interesting. The card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests that you have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with someone for a long time, the new moon is a, in Sturdy Taurus is a sign to not give up just yet. Didn't I say Jupiter and Venus? That this trine, that's what this is about. <clears throat> Maybe we'll go back and read that um, later on. We often feel that it's somehow wrong to focus on our finances, but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view. Taurus knows this, and the new moon in Taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so you can have the creature comforts you want. Remember, though, that someone else is still wishing for what you already have. The gibbous moon is about that bulging moon right before it hits full. Something is about to come true. This is how I feel. Something is about to come true and it's almost like the universe is saying like, are you ready? Are you ready for this? <clears throat> for some of you, it might have already happened or is currently happening. Something might feel a little bit um, heightened or sensitive. Um, that is your sign, really. That is your sign that something is coming to fruition here. Prosperity lies ahead. Use this Mars Capricorn energy to stick to your plan. If it's about money, make sure you're sticking to your some sort of financial goal so that you can get what you want down the line. This might not be, you know, happening for you right now, but maybe you can see what it is that you want for the first time and now you're making a plan for how to get it. As in the law of attraction, right? The the attracting abundance, attracting money to come to you really um and that's why it says pamper yourself to pamper yourself so that 
when you feel good in your body and you can feel confident and you feel you know your worth that's what you're putting out into the world that's what you're showing people that's exactly what comes back to you and the middle card you're very close to achieving your goal very very close i love that let's see what the tarot has to say overnight i started a pot roast and this morning the smell of the roast entered my dream and it woke me up at like 7 a.m. It just smelled so good. I think that's funny. I think, I think it's funny when that happens. Um, it gives evidence of the subconscious mind working um, with stimuli. And if you're somebody who likes to try to remember their dreams or journal their dreams, dissect their dreams, what is all the other stuff, right? If that like chicken that appeared in my dream was directly tied to some sort of external influence, what else is going on there? What else is going on with the other stuff? Anyway. <clears throat> death as the energy underneath, as in death and rebirth transformation strength leo chariot cancer the tower damn this is four out of four are all major arcana this is like some big shit the empress oh my god okay page of pentacles Whew. full moon ghost the star Page of Swords. Oh my gosh. It matters a lot when you do a spread and there's, you know, mostly Major Arcana. That's what's happening here. Death, Empress, the Chariot. Or sorry, not in order. Death, Strength, Chariot, Tower, Empress, and the Star. That's a lot of Zodiac signs. Um, so, th by the way, there's, um, that's Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, <clears throat> uh, the Empress is Taurus and Libra, that's also Venus, and the star, Aquarius. Then we got double page energy, page of pentacles, page of swords, that's sort of some, like, fresh, um, that, that could be sort of like that new moon energy, some sort of fresh start, page of pentacles, page of swords, um, it could be indicative of a message some sort of message coming in at the very end healing some sort of um, ghost story here or just some hmm so this is talking about the nature of change the nature of change and um, it's sort of uh, I guess I want to say this is maybe a road map for how change may occur not how it occurs every single time but just like an example of how this might go down. Okay, let's let's see. I see strength and I have this lemniscuit. That's what this is, by the way. It's called a lemniscuit. All right. I'm going to put it right over the strength card. Mars and Capricorn, right? I mean, let's use that energy for a second since we understand it as like a language now we can talk, discuss. If you are feeling like you can now make some sort of progress towards your goals, the thing that you want, um sometimes and this is not meant to deter you at all but failing at that is the way forward because it's meant to show you that you are you're, you're being sort of adjusted right there's no wrong choices so you make a decision you go down that path and then something happens and um, that's the tower energy Some, something suddenly happens that either um, leads to a revelation, leads to clarity, uh, leads to something suddenly changing um, for you in your life. And to me, I'm taking this very much as the change is around your values. This is um, possibly describing the last, the energy of this last week of Venus retrograde because the Empress is here in the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in the center He's the student. He's the one who's trying to understand how things are working the way that they are. And the full moon here is 
indicating that it's time to let something go. Something is, is ready to be released and to be healed and it has to do with some sort of um, history or uh, past that you have been aligning yourself with that is no longer serving you. So it's interesting because it feels like one step forward, two steps back. And time is not linear, so we, we do sort of, when, when we do healing work, we work in both directions at the same time. Um, I think that's the only way to do it, because you can't be too far into the future and ignoring the past, and you can't be stuck in the past and, and, and being sort of directionless about where you're going. So the Page of Swords also, he's the, he's the hero of the tarot deck, really, and he is the, this is the energy embodied needed to deal with the tower. So him coming up at the very end, after we see this tower moment, that is precisely what is happening in this spread. This is start to finish, open and shut case book, uh, you know, open and shut case of transformation, death, Scorpio. So a rebirth. This is a new, this is a new beginning. This might have to do with your relationship to money, right? Because this is all, a, the new moon Taurus showed up. This is a lot how, about how we think about finances. Uh, Venus is also the planet of um, love. And so while I don't necessarily think this is about a love relationship with someone else, this could be about how you treat yourself, how you love yourself. Um, the message of, of self-worth, pampering yourself. How do you take care of yourself so that you can show up in the world the way that you want to be seen or want to be perceived or the, in a way that shows off who you really are in, in some authentic way. <clears throat> a way that feels more free and uh, you know, a version of yourself that honors what you've been through, but at the same time, no longer associating myself with, you know, that past hurt. That does, it's no longer impacting my future decisions. It's not going to rile me up. It's not going to, you know, knock me off my horse. Since there are so many zodiac signs on the table, let's look into them, okay? So if you've got Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. Let's go first with Scorpio. If you've got Scorpio in your chart, heavy Scorpio placements, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ace of Wands, the wise old tree, King of Wands. <clears throat> yep. Scorpios, you are inspired to challenge what you know and put that into some sort of practical plan. Knowing something about yourself, you know now to take that information and use it to leverage future de future decisions. You are seeing something about yourself and how you used to view a situation or view um, your own mental patterns, you know, your, your own propensities towards looking at a situation. That is now your information. It's your, sort of like your guidepost. You're like, I know that this is how I react to this kind of information. You know that about yourself, so you're this. You're now making a plan to sort of address that. Let's look at Leo. Oh, interesting. Uh, Leo might be learning some healthy boundaries at work, and I think Leo that by sharing your own um, desires for some healthy boundaries with people around you, I think you might find that other people agree with you. Um, this is about doing things smarter, not harder for Leo. Okay, use, <clears throat> if Leos are sort of like 
it's supposed to be like this bodacious sort of like chatty bodacious very social creatures you know then use that power for good stand up for some sort of fair looks like fair work environment or you know that you might actually also another message for leos could be that you've got a <clears throat> A special project that you're working on that just needs to see the light of day something some sort of side hustle might turn into a job for you here or maybe that's where your energy wants to go you want to plan to put some sort of side hustle on the map uh, let's look at cancer <clears throat> judgment summer queen of wands Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> I think cancers are still coming to terms with their own sort of personal power. There's a lot of reflection going on and it's it's sort of the energy of yes, stepping out of your comfort zone. And so this is this is a thing that has to happen sort of in in short bursts of time because uh possibly this is something that is um whenever progress is made it burns very brightly and then like we need to retreat and um, now take care of ourselves a little bit again so cancer is um, I'll say slowly coming out of their shell and just doing the work it looks like um, but it's very good work and it's leading toward the nurturing of personal power personal strength and showing up as a um, more holy as themselves and um, somebody incredibly reliable okay so let's see next um, let's do Taurus six of wands six of cups five of swords i guess maybe a message for taurus is to not be so loud when making moves if taurus is making moves right now um it might feel good to be acknowledged um for the work that you're doing at the same time Taurus needs to see themselves in the context of what's going on around them because things might feel really good to taurus right now but that doesn't mean that everyone else is experiencing the same thing. So pay attention to um, your loved ones. I think Taurus, you're you're looking at some situation from the past in in some sort of your perception of something from the past is changing and it's causing you to sort of it's it's bringing you into a much lighter state of being. You're no longer looking at the past as something that um, let's say haunts you but um, that's changing you're remembering the good times the six of cups is all about harmony nostalgia and I see victory here so something it feels extremely reminiscent um, and extremely positive and for Taurus I'll just say if you had been feeling a little bit down in the dumps recently then this is um, this is my validation that you are your mind seems to be working better in the right now in the moment and you can, you are able to see more clearly how you know the past lessons what they meant or and or um, you know having gratitude for those and or just a past situation that makes you feel um, nostalgic instead of being sad for the things that have happened um, or missing you know that that like sad kind of longing it's um, I see it more as now you can look back on some memories um, with fondness and gratitude, Taurus. Uh, Libra. King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, the Hermit. Libra, I'm seeing that what wants to come in is, is this um, King of Pentacles, the financial security, power, something that is going to feel very good and stable for you. Um, it's not quite there yet, so maybe that's why you're feeling 
you know, you're almost at your wit's end, if you will. You're, you're sort of at the end of your rope. You're like, when is this going to happen? I feel like what is recommended for you is to go within. Um, the Hermit is Virgo energy, so... Um, Virgo, Virgo's special powers, if you were, if you will, are very um, analytical. Um, there, it's the power of assessment. It's also the um, sign of health and service. So, look at a couple of things. One, Libra, make sure you're taking care of yourself um, and not just working only towards your one aim. But sometimes it is good to take a step back and, and take care of yourself a little bit, Libra, and also. Um, see how you can be of service to others. That might clue you into sort of where you're needed and where, you know, prosperity, abundance will follow. Okay. And the, the sign of the hermit is, is also that you are being guided by your own light, your own sort of intuitive sense, your own personal, something that is uniquely personal to you, your own specific journey. Um, finally, let's look at uh, the star, which is Aquarius. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Oh. Aquarius, I feel like you're um, done taking on the emotions of others. <laughs> which is great, but I think it's also a little bit terrifying because uh, when you remove layers of what's not yours, you start to see more and more clearly um, which things are yours, and those things are being brought to the surface to be healed for Aquarius. Okay, this is all intended to make you more uh, grounded, more stable, more sort of, em again, emotionally just um, Yeah, I mean, more grounded. I know it's the King of Cups, and that's water energy. But the King of Cups is somebody who understands himself and his, and his emotions so well that he can weather any storm. It's raining in this card, but he doesn't really seem to mind or care. And that's a general message I've been getting as well. Like, it is a good time to find a practice or find the thing that makes you feel most like yourself, as in know what things you do when you're stressed. Find a, find a creative or an effective outlet for stress that makes you feel grounded. Start a meditation practice. Know when to remove yourself from situations that are um, you know, not giving you the energy that you need to get through the day or get through the week. Know when to remove yourself or to say like no thank you and know when you need to stand up for yourself right we saw a lot of that we saw we saw boundary making we saw uh, prosperity perseverance all come out in this reading growth overall I think it's pretty positive um, if you're one of those signs that came out today let me know if it resonated for you and that's what I got for today so thanks for watching and take care